Hi everyone, I'm Caroline from La Combe Instruments. We're in Barcelona in our new workshop. And I'm here with Sergio Gonzalez. Uh, he's really uh, known in his other, in his channel, Sanfoneando. Hardy Gardy. Hardy Gardy player. <laughs> exactly. And I have him today at the shop and we were discussing the difference between the mandola, the octave mandolin, the mandolin and the buzuki. So we thought we could yes. have a little chat together and yeah. sort of ask each other questions about exactly. you know, what do you think about this and exactly. what's the difference. So exactly. So I, I was asking you like, uh, I think there there is like some misunderstanding uh, between the uh, mandola and the buzuki or the octave mandolin. Yeah. So can you explain me a little bit uh, what the difference are and especially let's let's first let's talk about the buzuki and the octave mandolin because this drives me crazy <laughs> a bit so yeah can you clarify this are they the same instrument or not yeah well they they sound sort of the same they're usually tuned um g d a oh. yeah sorry <laughs> yeah. g d a e in this case or it could be g d a d which is the open, more open yeah. tuning? Which actually is more the tuning that we would use for the bouzouki, mm -hmm. the open tuning, which would be like the, that got in the guitar. So it would be the bouzouki and the octave mandola would, well, octave mandolin, sorry, would be more like the mandolin, which would be an octave lower than a mandolin. But mm. body wise, it's sort of the same because you're in the same notes, the same range. Okay. And so the buzuki will have longer neck. This is actually a short scale buzuki. It has a 56 centimeters, which is usually the shortest that you will find in the buzuki. Mm -hmm. So uh, that will be 22 inches okay. in English. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you can have longer buzukis, you know, and the longer the neck, then they're usually more difficult to reach okay. when you play it. But they have sort of a more ringing sound than the octave mandolin, but body-wise, they're the same. So it's mostly the same? They're mostly the same, you just play with the neck. Okay. And what about the mandola versus the buzuki? Because they're different things. They're yes. Different instruments. They are. Actually, some people call this a mandola. Um, depending on the country they come from, some people will call this a mandola, an octave mandola, a tenor mandolin. I get so ah. confused. <laughs> So let's say, at least in my shop <laughs> and okay. many others, it will follow the violin family. How should I call it? Octave mandolin or buzuki? What do you think? Well, buzuki? I would say it depends on the tuning you're okay. using. You know, the, okay. if you're using open tuning, That's, that okay. would be a buzuki. Mm. And if you're using like a mandolin, then it would be an octave, octave mandolin, mandolin because it's an octave lower than a mandolin. Ah, definitely. So, because if we take yeah, we can take the, the mandolin, mandolin and you'll see, sorry. So okay, the, now we, we are tune the same but one octave apart. An octave apart, so that makes it an octave mandolin. That makes it an octave, octave mandolin, but if I were tuned to... <laughs> if I were like this in G, D, A, D, A. which is the open tuning, that makes me a buzuki. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of. Okay, because kind of. now we're tuned like different. different. Yes. So I'm not an octave mandolin anymore. It makes sense. Does it? Yeah. It clarifies a lot. Yes. <laughs> okay. And now we have the octave mandolin if it's tuned with E, the okay. higher E, mm -hmm. and you have the bazooki. So we've got the family would be the violin, would be like the mandolin. Which brings us to the mandola, mm, okay. which would be like the viola which is a violin that is lower, a fifth lower. Mm -hmm. So this is the same, it is a fifth lower than the mandolin. Okay, so that means if I put a capo on the fifth fret of the of the buzuki, sorry, of the octave mandolin, because I have to be tuned in G, yes. D, A, E, 
Which you're not right which now. Which I'm not right now, <laughs> but I'm going to fake it. Uh, yeah. That makes me the same pitch as yours. There you go. Okay, so basically a mandola is the same as the buzuki, but with a capo on the fifth fret. Yeah. Tuned to G, D, A, E. So that way you've got... Um, So that will be uh, C, G, D, A. Okay. Yeah, the mandola is more... Uh, it's not as used in the traditional sessions because people prefer to have a longer instrument like the octave mandolin or the buzuki because they can have both. They can have... Without the capo, you get the tuning, the lower tuning, the octave lower. And that way you you play on a fifth, so you can have both. This one, mm. uh, you could either have this, or if you capo, you would have like the mandolin. The mandolin. Mm. But people prefer having a mandolin and this. So unfortunately for my little mandola, oh. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have many more friends than that. Okay, but, so, so yeah. let's say the buzuki or the octave mandolin, uh, when it's to the G, D, A, E, it's a little bit more versatile yeah. than the mandola. Yeah. Okay, but they are different sounds. Yeah, so. and, and for example, for a singer uh -oh. who likes a folk singing, and yeah. maybe it may be easier for a woman, for example, for the range that we it's, sing. Because it's, it's higher pitch. Yeah, it's so. higher pitch. So maybe that, you know, for a folk singer or, you know, someone who likes to sing bluegrass, or but not with a bluegrass instrument, or if you want to go Irish singing with another tuning, then that would be, a, you know, a nice in-between. What about Sergio? Did we answer sort of yes, the I questions think, you had? Yeah, or? I think everything is clear now. <laughs> now I really know what the mandola is and what the buzuki is and what the, an octave mandolin is. So, yes. Yes? Uh, yes, I think now I know everything. <laughs> well, uh, if you didn't get it uh, the first time, we'll have other videos. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep talking about the different instruments we have or we'll have also, you know, uh, videos from different subjects that might interest you, like tunings and tabs and, Everything. you know, all of the instruments will go and cover some, you know, different subjects and if Sergio wants to come back another day, we'll have some uh, other question answer sessions. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, well, um, we wish you a good day and hope you come back on our channel. See you. Bye-bye.